Hey guys, it's uh, Jake here from Team C4G here with a deck profile. Profile? That's the word. <laughs> I know English. Um, so it has been a hot minute, um, but hopefully we can bring you some more of these in future. If you do like uh, what you see here, feel free to like and subscribe or comment down below. Or listen to our podcast. Yeah, that too. Uh, it comes out every Monday, 6 p.m. Um, so yeah, feel free to tune in. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, so we are doing branded today. Uh, it's pretty much all I'm playing at the moment because nothing else excites me, but there are a couple other decks I will be trying soon. Uh, so hopefully I can get you some profiles of those once they're going. Uh, so for the main deck, we start with monsters and wouldn't you know it, three Fallen of Outbats. Ooh, all three. Yeah, it's sort of essential nowadays because you like if you get for full combo, you're able to do multiple, so you need multiple of them. Um, so yeah, you can't really get away with playing two like you might have used to. Uh, then we have the three Aluba. Uh, Warflex. Yeah, searches everything that you need to get you going. Um, yeah, must of three. And then we've got the true Mercurial. Um, one Mercurial is for use in your combo as like a dark target that can search your stuff. And then the other one is ideally used for the hand trap component. Um, some decks are only playing the one so that they can summon one of the extra deck things. I don't rate that. I prefer it as a hand trap and the monster that you summon to using this isn't really that good. Um, it's kind of situational. doesn't come up all that much for me at least. Um, but yeah, we've got two of those. Um, then we've got two Lebellion. Uh, I'm only playing two because I didn't want to have to buy a third. <laughs> um, like... For what it does at the moment, I'm not really willing to pay 100 bucks for a third one. And if you're doing sort of standard branded lines, you get him to bin pretty easily anyway. But once the sort of support comes in from Cyberstorm Access, a third might be needed, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I am playing two Kaijus. Um, I'm playing the dark one specifically because uh, it's an easier um, sort of super poly target if you open Albaz. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is it is level 7 and quite often I am using this to try and out Kashira. so if you're not able to out the board and you have them with the level 7 it does put you in a bit of a predicament. Um, so that would be my only concern with that. My concern with the other targets is they're not as good, they're not super poly targets or they're just massive attack. Um, like the light ones are just huge. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's concerning. Um, so I'm playing that at the moment. It's doing fairly well, it outs most problems that I need it to out and yeah. It's, it is what it is. I think Kaiju's are very good in this format. Uh, we've got uh, these guys. Um, this I could probably cut. I just kind of like it as like a secondary search target for Lebellion if you happen to open the Sarony and or the Albion. Um, Sarony is kind of important for um, branded combo in order to get the secondary fusion uh, spell into rotation. Um, and Albion... Albion's just Albion. Albion's a good boy. Um, puts Albaz in grave if you need brand in red or brand in white targets. Um, puts your other spell in grave so that your Sarony sort of loop is working. Um, yeah. And is another another copy of Albaz if he's in the bin. So, he, he a good lad. Uh, some one ofs. We've got uh, Ad Libertum. We've got Tragedy. And we've got Cartesia. Oh yeah. Cartesia, very good. Um, cards insane, um, get you another fusion which gets you generally the Foolish Burial which I'll go over soon. Um, and yeah, pretty much adds itself back to hand every turn so you're never without Cartesia. Uh, again, some lists play multiple. I find it easy enough to search or get out that one is really all I need. Uh, also, I'm not buying another Starlight, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not. I'm not playing the second one, and I'm not playing off rarity, so uh, we'll stick with the one. Um, but yeah, cards bonkers. Cards so good. Uh, and then tragedy um, again, just gets you into searches and recycles your spells, and ad libitum is just recursion for your fusions and stuff to keep you going. Uh, and then to round out the monsters, the three Ash Blossom. Honestly, this is less of an actual hand trap and more of a prevention of hand trap, which I'll go over shortly. Um, like, obviously, Ash Blossom comes up, every deck has some sort of search or dump mechanic, but more often than not, this is just in there so that I can play 
Um, so it is for this card, the Crossouts. Um, yeah, the deck lives and dies by Brand of Fusion, so you need your Ashes to resolve. Uh, so this helps you, you fusions, do that. Need, need them to resolve, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? yeah okay. Yeah, uh, so yeah, this is absolutely necessary for the deck. Um, you could play sales band as well, and then just play um, other cards. I just don't have sales bands, um, so it's probably not a terrible idea to look into. I might have a couple. Yeah, I could give it a go, <laughs> but that'll be for another day. Uh, obviously, free brand infusion. Shocking. Yeah. Uh, cards bonkers. Um, it's pretty much the biggest bottleneck of the deck. If it gets ashed, you're kind of up shit creek. Um, but yeah, being able to foolish two targets and summon a monster and get your whole combo going is kind of nuts. Uh, and we've got three triple tactics. Uh, people are running Ash, people will use Ash. Um, if you have a cross out, great. If not, you can weaken their hand to hopefully be able to play through another turn and resolve your brand of fusion another time. Uh, if, if you do get to resolve anyway and they've used Ash because you had cross out, then you get to draw some more cards and make their hand even worse. Um, yeah, cards just insane. And then we've got three Book of Eclipse. Um, a lot of the format at the moment is monsters that uh, don't like to be flipped face down. Uh, so being able to sort of get rid of those problems before you start playing is great if you're going second. Uh, it's also good for dodging of removals. Uh, that's why I haven't got um, like Effect Veiler, Imperm, and that kind of stuff as other cross out targets because Eclipse can dodge those anyway you flip your monster down there's no longer a target um and yeah what while being able to simultaneously flip a cash board face down seems very good the only draw downside with that obviously is that if you can't out their board they're going to draw a bunch and have their monsters back face up so it is what it is uh what it is what it, it is. is what it is uh, two branded opening. Um, I think I was playing a third at one point, but I needed to cut the deck down because I was having some consistency issues. So I am just playing two at the moment and it seems to be doing fine. You can add a third if you'd like. Um, like you could probably take out the uh, Magnumut for a third one of these or a third one of the next card um, or the card after that now. I think about it. Um, yeah, you'd want to see your Lubas, but that's not a problem I've experienced. Uh, so this has been fine and the protection engrave is also really important as well because a lot of players are playing board wipes so having inherent protection that just sits in the graveyard is fantastic uh two of your fusion deployments um cheats out cartesia so that then she's another way that you can dodge effects too if you go to resolve a luba someone tries to imperm or effect valor you chain your cartesia fuse it away it's no longer a target um also gets albaz out of the deck so um if you're going second you can summon your albaz um attempt to do the fusion play uh bait out in the gate and play from there obviously it locks you into fusions but in this deck you do not care and we've got two allure um and the reason i'm playing two allure is because oh, i couldn't find a third Lord. ultra and i don't want to play off rarity again they're could... different prints though they look different up Are here they? no they're not no, they're just, they're not. just the way the light's going yeah um, yeah, probably could play a third allure, but there's also not a huge amount of targets that I want to banish. Um, so I'm not using allure all that much. It's just in those sort of positions where you kind of need it, you use it, great. Um, in the OG ones, allure was bonkers, but now it's a bit different. Uh, some one of spells. We've got Branded Regained, Dragon, Branded Lost, Branded in White, and Branded in Red. Um, these are your sort of standard ones. Um, you cheat these ones out with a rebellion. Um, a lot of this because they're not playing as many bestials have probably cut that. I like it for recursion of cards like Adlib or Albaz or Mercurial and stuff like that. So you're not sort of banishing a heap of resources and struggling to get them back. Um, and Lost obviously stops uh, the respondee because um, you want to play and get your searches for Cartesia, Mercurial or them. Uh, white is the second spell I was playing, talking about before. Plays around Ash Blossom if you are in that sort of position. If you've got Albaz in Grave, you can just do stuff from Grave, kind of like Invocation, but for Branded. And Branded in Red for your standard off turn, uh, guarding Chimera nonsense. Um, <laughs> yeah. Dex used to play two, um, just because with the current build, you really only want to play one. And like if your turn goes off and you resolve this on your opponent's turn and stuff, nine times out of ten, you're going to win anyway, because you've got like three or four big-ass monsters on the board that they can't out. So, yeah. 
And then lastly, uh, two traps. We've got uh, Branded Retribution. That, um, that does come up sometimes, but not all that often as a counter trap to negate special summons by recycling stuff. Most of the time, though, you're using it to recycle your uh, graveyard stuff, vanish from grave, add back a Branded Spell or Trap to your hand. Um, so yeah, if you're in that position, you can... That's the loop I was talking about before. Uh, Saranus in one, Albion send the other, recycle, yeah. And then Brand of Banishment, um, basically Monster Reborn and Super Poly in a card, as well as Banishing, it's cards bonkers. Um, so yeah, very good in the standard line. Um, yeah, you might have noticed in that too, I'm not playing the uh, Gimmick Puppet Loop. It's not really my play style, um, but if I lose too many more games, it might, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, to the extra deck, we have... Which, no, uh, the, mm -hmm. well, show us the sleeves, show us the sleeves, there we go, here we go. Oh, look at that, the man likes his consistency, oh yeah. Yes, these were a gift to me from the brag, so thank you very much. Until they print them all everywhere. <laughs> uh, so yeah, extra deck, we've got two Mirror Jade, um, Heart and Soul of the deck, it's your biggest removal, it's, yeah, card's insane. Um, it's funny that like, oh, you can only use it once, like every second turn, but it's soft. So because of the way the deck works, you summon it again, you do it again. Uh, sends the Albaz Fusion as cost to do the punish, but they all do something in the grave. So yeah, card is insane. Uh, we've got two Albion. Again, set your Branded Spell on Trap off turn. Does another Fusion Summon by banishing stuff. Uh, it's generally how you get your Lebellion to the grave, and that's why I'm only playing two. Um, yeah. Card bonkers. Uh, we've got Rinbrum. That's the new card I was talking about. It uses the Mercurial as the fusion material. Um, kind of situational, great in theory, but the times that I was like playing in order to make this specifically just didn't really work out. So I didn't really bother most of the time. It's there if I need it, but yeah. Graveyard effect is also in theory useful, but hasn't come up all that often. Uh, Lebellion shuffles back your stuff to Fusion Summon. Uh, you're generally making that off of the Albion and then shuffling it back, so you really only need to play one, because if all is going well, it's just going back into your extra deck for later anyway. Uh, we've got uh, Big Rand. Um, more often than not, that's either a Super Poly target or a uh, Mirror Jade Send target, searches your Mercurial, or summons your Albaz from deck in the end phase. So if the board's not super strong, you can send that as one of your banished targets and then summon Albaz in the end phase to be able to super poly into another Mirror Jade. Uh, Alba Lendidus, um, I bought this one ages ago because I thought it would come up, it's just another good sort of send target more often than not. Um, did come up a couple of weeks ago that I versed two heavy dragon decks, so I just got to sort of set my Albaz and then fuse into this for free. Uh, kind of bonkers, um, yeah, card very good. Uh, then we move on to some Despia cards, uh, Kyotis and Priskinian. Um, you cheat those out with a card that I'm, talk I'm going to talk about in a minute, but they're also decent super poly targets in the mirror. Um, yeah, Priskinian's kind of bonkers, um, being able to summon back your opponent's um, fusions and extra deck stuff. So if you can out a Baron, you can bring it back to your side and then you've got a free negate. Um, and that one is sort of as protection more often than not, drops anything that isn't a level 8 or higher fusion to zero um, in the main phase, and if your opponent gets rid of it by a card effect, uh, summons a Despia or an Albaz from your deck. So, yeah, card is very good. Uh, then we've got Bernie Dragon. Um, that one is your, um, <laughs> your win in time button in Branded. Um, summon it, hope your opponent can't guide you it, and then you're fine. Uh, Green Wignol, this is the uh, fusion target for Cartesia. Um, on summon, Foolish is a level 6 or higher light or dark, so if you're in a tight spot, you can send your Albion from the extra deck, or if you're doing well, you can send your Ad Libitum from the main deck to turn on your Branded in Red to do the Mirror Jade loop. Um, and that's the card that cheats out. If your opponent special summons something, it banishes from Field or Grave in order to summon one of your Despia monsters, which is. Whoop, not that one. That one and the other one. I don't know where I put it. Help. <laughs> where did it go? Um, but yeah, summons uh, the. Oh, there it is. Summons, <laughs> summons these two for free once your opponent special summons. Um, so you don't have to invest that high material into making the Priskinian because that can be a bit tricky. Um, yeah, card is very good. Kind of wish I had it in Starlight, but it's very hard to find. <laughs> 
Uh, got in Chimera, that's your Brendan in red play. Uh, you used to play two, but again, once you're sort of in that position in the current sort of deck as it is, you really don't need to play it again. Um, yeah. Too many Brandon monsters now, and too many Despia monsters now. Yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah, and the other thing with that is that you used to have protection because you're using Super Poly to make it, but, I mean, not Super Poly, Polymerization to make it. You're not anymore. The deck doesn't play Poly anymore. So it is a bit more vulnerable than the last time. Uh, we've got Garura, Super Poly target. Woo! Yeah, card's great. But, yeah, I haven't summed it really all that much. <laughs> um, so in theory, you could flex that out for something else if you're sort of wanting to play a different target. And finally, we've got Dragus Topelia. Again, card is bonkers. Um, being able to negate stuff, obviously very important. The deck has few to no negates within it, so you really want some sort of um, negation to be able to play. And yeah, he's kind of it. And being a super poly target in mirrors is really great. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying the deck now that I find the playstyle is a bit more towards the old school than it is the new. Um, I got sort of stuck watching a lot of uh, replay profiles about how the deck should play and the combos that it can do. Um, and while I was trying to do those, because of the consistency issues the deck can have, it sort of made haphazard sort of shitty boards. Um, so I've gone back to a more old school approach and it's doing fine. Um, yeah, like I said, I could play the gimmick puppet variant, but it's just not my thing. Um, but yeah, if I want to win games, it's kind of free. So by all means, if you need to get a regional top to get your invite, by all means, go for it. Um, but yeah, uh, that sort of concludes it for this one. Oh my um, God, the focus just went out. The video just was the video is like, oh, we want to finish. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll bring you a new profile in the coming weeks uh, for some other decks. Uh, but if there's anything particularly you want to see or hear from us, uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, like us, subscribe, listen to our podcast, and we'll catch you all soon. Peace.